Hey, just giving you a quick lathe update. I haven't touched the machine yet, but I did get some of the stuff organized. I have a little piece of plywood I mounted to the wall there with some of the accessories mounted to it. Uh, I'll just go ahead and scan over them so you can see. Some pretty cool uh, C-clamps I've acquired. Yeah, Color holder and various accessories and whatnot. Yeah, we got some spare jaws, some collets. And I was just going ahead and sorting through some of these smaller bits, loading up these little trays. I like to have the real, real small ones uh, accessible. And most of the stuff we have in this red box here, I'm trying to get out of that glare there. We got some stuff up on the top there. We got uh, a lot of the different chucks, a couple three quarter inch chucks. I like these knurling tools. I'll be really happy to learn how to do the knurling. That'll be nice. And this one here has various sizes, as you can see. So that'll be cool to get into that. And that's a Williams. There's also another one here. This one is uh, Armstrong. Pretty cool. So this, yeah, this red box is holding most of my, my gear for the lathe. Uh, there's some pieces down there. And just odds and ends. I got all my wood handled screwdrivers. Those aren't all of them, but you know, some of the more unique ones kind of just all in one place. Snap ring pliers, different accessories. I want to get some new handles on this guy. A little flat tip. I got the little two drawer uh, machinist box there. It's a park. And that's loaded right up with bits. Oh, I'm not even going to bother opening that. It's too heavy. Uh, this table here in the corner has got to go. It's obstructing um, that far right drawer and far right cabinet. But uh, for now, got my big, uh, my biggest vice. I'm working on getting a new one here. Um, and I got my, my big screw jacks. And that glare is awful. Let me turn around. So yeah, the lathe is coming along. It's a lot of stuff going on with it. But for now, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go piece by piece and clean everything up. I did run it the other day. It's very smooth. Um, I'd like to put, I think that's a half horsepower motor there. I'm gonna put a Craftsman, uh, where is it? Right there is a three quarter horse Craftsman that I'm gonna put on it. Let's go through. My worm drive Rockwell. Really into that. You know, I plugged that in the other day and ran it. And you could just smell the, the oil and grease. and It just smelled like work. You could tell. You know, it just had that real nice smell to it. All right. Got a couple different bench grinders up there. Um, I'm still buying tools, obviously. Uh, I picked up a Max set. This is a, a metric deep impact. Full set. It's uh, 10 mil through 18 mil, and also 21 mil and 24 mil. And I got that. And this Snap-on uh, 18 inch extension, as well as a Starrett six inch ruler, and a two jaw Snap-on puller, a six ton puller. Fifty bucks total for everything. That was a pretty good deal. Um, I got a. Put a new handle on this sledge here that I've been kicking around. I had a sledge head just kicking around. A 48 ounce Stanley, also with a new handle. Uh, I just switched out blades on my sander, or uh, blades, uh, belts on my sander. Um, the old one was kind of shot. I'm keeping the old ones because they still have a real, real fine bit of grit on them. So that'll be good for like fine tuning stuff. But for now, I need to get that one going. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, I picked up this little bundle here for five bucks. There's three draw knives, 
and uh, I really like these things. Uh, let's see what we got here. This one is a heart. Probably won't focus, but right there in the middle it says heart. Uh, this is the bigger one, and it is. Bear with me. I think it says J. Davis and Company. And then my favorite one out of the bunch is this one with the brass. It's got um. Can't make out the manufacturer, but it's got a patent date. Uh, and I can barely make out that December fifteenth. I can't really tell the year. But with that came this little hand drill and a couple of planters. Um, five bucks. I like these. Uh, these are the only three that I've ever had. And I, I got a couple of the uh, spoke shave knives, but none like this. So pretty cool. A couple of them could use new handles. Uh, this one here has a split handle. So I'm going to eventually turn some new handles for these. And if nothing else, I'm going to display them on the wall because they're cool to look at for sure. Uh, what else? I busted out my, my big drills here. This one I think is still plugged in. Let's see. <laughs> That's the Black & Decker three-quarter drill. Uh, I've got the Powercraft one right next to it. These are both working drills. Low RPM, high torque. Uh, 600 RPM on the Black & Decker one. And also I have this uh, Takeabout uh, Porter Cable. It's referred to as the Locomotive Drill, or I'm sorry, Locomotive Sander. Obviously due to its looks. Uh, this thing needs brushes. 